Greg Cosell from NFL Films uh, talked about the Browns' new additions on defense. This is from the X's and O's podcast with Greg Cosell. Smith and Tomlinson were really interesting in how they would sort of arc out from the inside to get to the quarterback. So you get two X Vikings. Uh, they get uh, Okoronkwo from the Texans, who's a really underrated edge guy. And they get Siaki Ika in the draft. Uh, so that front, I mean, we can talk about the linebackers and the, you know, I, I think that was more established to me. It's the combination of what Jim Schwartz does with his, uh, with his lines. It's not a lot of blitz. There's not a lot of variance there. It's wide nine and, you know, sort of what it is, but that all that personnel, I mean, it, that to me, um, the more I was watching tape on all these guys, I mean, Siaki Ika has some bad tape, especially last year, but no, he's you know, not a pass rusher anyway. Right. But uh, just as far as redefining this defensive line, I think it's kind of an undertold story that the Browns went all out here. Well, Jadarius Smith is a really good edge pass rusher. Yes. And so he'll play opposite Garrett because Jade Van Clowney is not a good edge pass rusher. Nope. And he never has been. And that's why he's going to be with his fifth or sixth team before oh, the, the age of 30. Smith, though, And this is where Okoronkwo comes in is that you can bring Smith. I, he had a game against, I think it was the Lions. When he was at the Packers, he had three and a half sacks, and I think two and a half were from the inside. And, and Quincy, again, people want to lump Zadaria Smith in with Jadavian Clowney. They're really different players. <laughs> Greg Cosell, <laughs> what did Jadavian Clowney do to you? Oh, my goodness. Did you hear that? Like, he went so far that he had to about that. He could have just said, yeah, it's an upgrade for Janavion Cloudy. He went, no, Janavion Cloudy ain't never been good. He'll never be good. He ain't never been good, as y'all thought. And that's why he on, like, eight teams. He trashed. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> What did y'all say about Jadavion Clowney to this man to drive him to that point? I blame the internet for that. Uh, but, yes, it, Greg Cosell's obvious um, dislike of Jadavion Clowney aside, and he's not completely wrong about some of that. I think he does have some value as an edge rush. He said he wasn't even a good edge rush. That's crazy. Uh, but I think uh, Zadarius Smith is an upgrade from Jadavion Clowney for sure, right? When you look at the pressure numbers, and I don't think Miles has ever played with anybody who gets the amount of pressure that Zadarius gets on a regular basis. That's going to be interesting to see how does that affect his uh, his sack numbers, right? Because all the time, what do we see? Dudes running away from Miles here, <laughs> which means that's a pressure, right? Right. What happens when you run away from the guy that's on the other side of Miles Garrett? What happens? I don't know. We've never really right. seen that happen. So that's going to be interesting to see how that affects his numbers. But, yes, from a pressure standpoint, that's very important. Jadavion Clowney just never was a high-pressure, high-sack right. number guy. Yeah, and, and even when he did get pressure and, and win rate, he, he didn't finish at quarter. You know, he, the sack numbers were, uh, were light because he would not finish and get the sacks. 